the analysis package that we're going to use for this module is R. And we are going to operate R through a graphical user interface called R Commander. What this does is if you've ever used a program like SPSS, it allows us to uh, control and engage with R by using a series of point and click menus. You'll need to install both of these packages and I'll talk you through how to do that right now. So and point one from this link here, navigate to the CRAN website and you will be presented with three options at the top. The first is a download for Linux, the second for Mac and the third for Windows. I'm using a Windows platform at the moment. So anything that I show you in class, any demonstrations that I give will be using uh, Windows file paths and so on. So depending on which platform you're using, if you're using a Mac, you want to go down here to the latest release link. If you're using Windows, you want to click here on the base package and that will take you to a link to download and install. I've already got R installed on my machine, so I'm not going to go through the installation process live here. But what you should do is once the installation process starts is to accept um, any default options that are presented and just make sure that you follow the same instructions for Mac and just do read the release notes carefully to see if there are any uh, specific steps that need to be followed. But the installation should be relatively straightforward and quite similar to the Windows version. Next, you need to start or and to start or all you need to do is, if you're on Windows, navigate down here and go down through your list of programs. Um, I've recently reinstalled um, my version of R up here, so you'll see it appears right at the very top. If you're on the latest version of Windows, you will see the same link appearing here, but it should also appear in alphabetical order down your list of programs. Um, I use R Studio by default, and we may be moving to this uh, later on in the course, um, depending on how far we get. So I will talk you through how to install that later on if we do. But for now, to load the basic R console. All you need to do is click here on the R x64 for Windows, if you're using that, and this opens up the R console. Now the R console is relatively straightforward. Um, R itself, um, in this base version, again, users of R do not typically use it simply in its base condition. We would tend to use it through uh, a package like um, R Studio is quite popular. We're going to use R Commander. Um, so this is base R, which is relatively straightforward, and it's simply just a command interface that accepts um, syntax-based commands. R has a particular has has a particular language structure, and using R in this way uh, can be quite complicated and cumbersome, and it comes with quite a steep learning curve, which is why we are going to use uh, this package for R that sort of sits on top and allows us to control R by using a series of menus and point and clicks. And this is R Commander. So step three then is to type the following at the command prompt. And this is install.packages or commander. Now I've already got the package installed here. So what you would do is you would simply type into this install.packages, open brackets and then close in quotation marks, or cmdr. And again, in or all the different packages get these kind of shorthand uh, titles. We'll be working with a couple of other packages for the course, uh, such as tidyverse and ggplot2. And once you click on this, you simply type it in, install.packages uh, or commander and closed as we see here, click enter. And it will for, next it will offer you uh, a choice of CRAN mirrors. And what you want to do here is uh, you can access Dublin, uh, the Ireland's HEA and a CRAN under, under this one if you want. But just simply look uh, look down to the UK and select either Bristol or London. E either one of those will do. And once you do that, then it might take a little while, but R will work in the background, um, and it will install those packages those packages for you. Uh, again, I've already got it installed on mine, so it's just overriding it. The next step then is step five type the following at the command prompt, library, and then in brackets, note the absence of the quotation marks here because we're not installing the package, type library or commander to open up the or commander GUI. And if you wait a few seconds, what you will see is um, another window pops up in front of this, and this is or commander. And what we are going to use for um, the majority of this course, all of the data analysis that we do is going to be performed within this window here, the R Commander window. Now, as we said, R itself, base R is a script-based program where we would um, conduct analysis and tell R what to do by typing here in the command line. R Commander is simply a more streamlined way of issuing uh, commands to the R console by using a series of point and click options. So one of the first things that I'm gonna get you to do is to import some data. And just by means of demonstration, I'll be talking you through how to do this in class. If we were to load some data into R, we would simply import them. Um, and again, the format that I'm going to show you for doing this 
uh, is in Stata because Stata is the main program um, that I use in my ordinary day-to-day -day work. So all of the data sets that I've provided for this course are in Stata format. And once we import some data into R, what you'll see here is that actually what's happening in the background um, is that R is simply, R commander is simply issuing commands to the R console and script. So basically what, what this does is it eliminates, R commander eliminates the need for us to type um, all this initially quite cumbersome code into the R console to get it to do what we want it to do. We can essentially make R work through R commander by simply pointing and clicking and using the menus. And the nice thing about R commander is we also get the script. So it returns to us um, the commands that we would use or the code that we would use in the R console um, if we were simply, you know, um, coding from um, coding from syntax. It also gives us the output down here in an output window. And it also gives us this other tab here called Markdown. And I'll be using this to issue um, to issue your lab notes uh, as we get on later, later through through the course.